be honest, be honest with all these, these secrets. <laughs> okay, very, I might very have clear. a little bit stalked him just a tiny yeah. bit. Yeah, it worked out, it worked right? Out. <laughs> <laughs> I would describe Julie as very empathic and extremely determined. Being an athlete can be a little bit selfish, but she does it in such a way that it's very humble and she always tries to put other people first. We actually joined the, the same CrossFit gym in 2009 and we did the same training for about two years and Julie was a lot better than I was. <laughs> when I'm training like hours and hours every day, if I can get him to do part of my workout or one workout with me, it makes a huge difference just to have someone to do it with, but then to have Danny to do it with makes it even better. We've always known that we were really committed to each other and we always try to do whatever we need to to support each other. I think it's a really crucial part of our relationship is that we're very supportive of one another. And beyond that, just making each other better. So I think those two components are really the foundation of our relationship. Being an athlete, I think it's become a big part of our identity. But being a medical student and in the future being a physician, I think is an even bigger part of her. The demand that it takes to train and compete at the CrossFit Games is just not feasible for me to do that and do well in the last years of school. Starting in our first year, we got to spend a half a day in a clinic with primary care patients every week, and that has been the most rewarding thing for me to be able to already start to develop those skills and see how what you're learning is actually going to impact people. This is going to be my last year competing in CrossFit, and that's because I need to go on and finish with med school. And right now, I'm just enjoying this season and trying to, you know, make the most of it and realize that it is my last season so I am enjoying it a little more but I think I'll be really sad definitely after this season is over. It means so much to have Danny's support. He just has to sit there and watch and just wait and see what happens but he's still going through the whole emotional roller coaster and it means so much to have his support when I'm training and to have him to keep me on track and keep me you know mentally and emotionally focused um, even when things get hard so I'm lucky. <laughs> I think that commitment is one of those most important values that you have to have if you want to be successful. If you're committed to a person or to a goal that you have, your end goal is always trying to be better than you were yesterday. I've already been on the third place spot and the second place spot, so this year is my last chance to get that first place spot. Julie Boucher, the number one overall. Smith Boucher, the warrior. If anyone has a chance that he finishes the man out of this field, I think it's going to be Julie. Boy, you hate to see that for Julie Boucher.